Now, we talked about this for a brief moment on Capes and Cows uh, last week, but Kevin Smith is apparently bringing Dogma back to theaters and a home release. This is from Glenn Garner from Deadline. As a controversial Kevin Smith movie celebrates its 25th anniversary, Dogma is getting a re-release. The View Askewniverse director revealed that his 1999 religious satire is returning to theaters and getting a new home release after another company purchased the distribution rights from Miramax. The movie's been bought away from the guy that had it for years and whatnot, he said on that hashtag show. The company that bought it, we met with them a couple months ago. They were like, would you be interested in re-releasing it and touring it like you do with your movies? And I said, 100%, are you kidding me? Touring a movie that I know people like and it's sentimental and nostalgic? We'll clean up. Smith continued, right now, 2024 is our 25th anniversary this year. November is when we came out, so I think 2025, it looks like, is when the movement's going to happen there. Back on home video, then back out in theaters, and I'll tour it and stuff like that. This will be the first time the movie has been available to stream since its 1999 premiere, while hard copies of the title remain a rarity. Dogma stars Ben Affleck and Matt Damon as Bartleby and Loki, two fallen angels who make their way to New Jersey for a loophole that will get them back into heaven. The film also features uh, Linda Fiorentino, Sam Hayek, Alan Rickman, Chris Rock, Jason Lee, and Alanis Morissette, as well as Jason Mewes and Smith reprising their roles as Jay and Silent Bob. This film served as the fourth installment in the Smith's View Askew universe, which also includes Clerks, uh, Mallrats, Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Clerks 2, Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, and Clerks 3. Smith noted that the new Dogma deal could potentially lead to sequels, TV versions, in terms of extending the story, something we could never do before. So exciting, man, and all those people who worked in it are still viable. After Harvey Weinstein was accused of sexual assault by multiple women in 2017, Smith expressed that he was ashamed to have worked with the producer early in his career. He also pledged to donate all future residuals from his Miramax and Weinstein company work to women in film. Smith said at the time that Weinstein had recently approached to make a Dogma 2, an offer that the director declined. Well, hopefully that will change now that he is not involved. I can't say anymore how I love this. This is one of my favorite films of all time. It's absolutely hysterical. It's Kevin Smith at his best. It does so much about philosophy and religion and how people treat all of that and culture. There's there's just so much there. And there's a lot to be said both inside the film, but then also how people have responded to the film. I am so happy to hear that it's released from Miramax and Weinstein and all that nonsense. I'm so happy to hear that a sequel could come out of it. And I'm just happy for Kevin Smith. I feel like you got one of your babies back, man, and you can you can really celebrate it. I've been very frustrated that... I haven't been able to find Dogma anywhere and, and I don't have my old DVD anymore. So it's just it's just kind of buried in my memory as, as, as a movie that I absolutely love. Uh, somebody did have a recording of it that I got to watch uh, probably about four or five years ago. Um, but either way, I really, really enjoyed it. And I'm glad that we're getting a second opportunity to see it. So let me know in the comments. Have you seen Dogma? Is it one of your Kevin Smith favorites? I'm hoping because Koi is good friends with him, both from comic book shopping and from our Schmodown days, that he'll be able to find a way to get me to whatever premiere tour thing that's happening out here when that happens. But either way, again, let me know what you think, man. (laughs) 